Hey guys, Jamie Bain here from RugbyRenegade.com where we help rugby players get stronger, fitter, faster and stay injury free so they can dominate their opposition on the rugby field. And today we're talking about power and capacity. So as a rugby player, you need both power and you need capacity. So, so you understand what this means, all the kind of things that you have, physical capacities, if you have your, your speed, uh, obviously power, uh, acceleration, your ability to jump, your maximal force, they're very short duration and produce as much energy as quickly as possible. And capacity is your ability to repeat that over periods of time. So rugby as a, as a game itself is obviously somewhere in between here because you need good levels of power and you need to be able to repeat it. But uh, for, for example, in comparison, a marathon runner with a bit of pierce, they just need to be able to repeat, repeat low level intensity and a weightlifter or a sprinter or a shot put thrower, they'd be down this end because they just do one short explosive effort and that's it done. Whereas rugby, we're somewhere in the middle. So in terms of our training, we need to hit this power and this capacity as well so we can repeat those efforts over the eight minutes of the game or those short three, four minute periods in a game. So why is each of these important? Well, obviously power, you understand if you're a prop, you need that, that explosive strength in the scrum, you need uh, strength in collisions, for your back three you need speed out in wide positions uh, and of course you need the ability to then repeat that over the 80 minutes. So our training needs to cover some of this and we need to do that when we're fresh with full recovery so we can increase how much power we can produce. And then at certain periods we need to train down here to build our capacity to recover from, from intermittent periods. And then we need to sort of train around here so we're doing repeat efforts of power activities, but being able to repeat it continually with minimal drop off. So your training needs to take into account. So in terms of some of the training we use at rugbyrenegade.com, you might have kind of MAS training here. Uh, you might have repeated sprint ability here. Obviously, I guess conditioning games might be here, which you might do with your club. Then of course you've got, um, you know, one RM strength, uh, maybe 10 meter excels here, 40 meter speed here. So you need to hit these with full rest and recovery, and then you need to do explosive repeated efforts and more aerobic work so you've got the ability to recover in between those explosive efforts so you can hit them again and again. So come the 80th minute of the game, you're still producing as close to your maximum power in all these um, different physical capacities, speed, agility, uh, strength. So make sure your training includes both power and capacity. If, uh, if you need a program that does that, check out the Rugby Renegade subscription program where we uh, focus on blocks to increase each of these and use the correct conditioning methods to enhance them at the same time. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please like and share it and of course subscribe to us down here for more weekly rugby strength conditioning videos.